Niels Henrik David Bohr, born October 7, 1885, and died November 18, 1962. He was born to Christian Bohr, a physiology professor at the University of Copenhagen, and Ellen Adler Bohr, the daughter of a wealthy Danish and Jewish family. He studied at the University of Copenhagen and graduated with his master's degree and PhD in physics. He soon married Margaret Norland and had six children, two of which died. This is a picture of the atomic model. It shows the atom as a positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons. I discovered that the electrons travel in separate orbits around the nucleus and that the amount of electrons in the outermost orbit determine the properties of the element. All right, according to my atomic theory, an electron is restricted to a particular circular orbit, but it can jump from a lower energy orbit to a higher energy orbit if they absorb light. They can also do the opposite, fall from a higher energy orbit to a lower energy orbit if they emit light. Okay. I cooperated with John Archibald in 1939 to produce a liquid drop model. A tiny nucleus was modeled after a drop of liquid held together by surface tension. Just like a liquid, the shape of the drop was spherical, but could be changed. Okay. This model had its greatest success in explaining the properties of heavy nuclei such as uranium. It also was an important step in the development of the atomic bomb. I was the first person who applied the quantum theory to atomic structure. This theory was based on an atomic model earlier proposed by Rutherford in 1913. Um, my research eventually led to many new discoveries, some of which helped with the atomic bomb and others led to the scientists discovering the fact that they could split the nucleus of an atom and create massive amounts of energy. Um, through this, eventually, they found a way to collect this energy and nuclear power was born, um, which is what you guys all use today, mostly. Um, also, my uh, theories on the atom structure also led to the idea of quantum leaps. Um, and these quantum leaps are used in a lot of things today. For example, uh, the hum that you hear in your microwave is in fact the sound of quantum leaps releasing a lot of energy, which leads to the eventual heating up of your food. And lasers in DVD players that are used to read the DVDs is also, um, also uses quantum leaps. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Okay, let's see this. This is the atomic model. It is... What? It is... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get work for it. I'm going to do my best. Okay. This is the atomic model. It shows a positively, char a positively charged nucleus surrounded by neg negatively charged electrons. I first discovered that the um, electrons traveled in orbit around the nucleus. Then I discovered that the outer God, the outer orbit determines the properties of the element. That, um, that the outer orbit determines the properties of the element. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the atomic model proposed earlier by Rutherford in 1913. I was the first to. I don't know. Just like a drop, the shape of the drop. Okay, let me try that again.